بيت الصيفي هذا بيت نعم. في الصيف الصيفي يعني ولا هي ساكنه هنا؟ لا لا هي دائما دائما هنا ما شاء الله اوه حمزه هاي دوين مام فيري جود تو سي يو جود تو سي يو ثانك يو This is a kaswara, al khati from from Jeddah. So I wanted to introduce you. Unfortunately, the other person who's in the film he didn't couldn't come up. Yeah, he went up to Big Sur. But I thought we could go see Kathleen. Well, why don't we walk up to the lake? It's so beautiful out now. We'll walk up and see her. Good to see you, Mom. طيب إحنا يعني حالياً معنا والدة الشيخ حمزة. نعم. إليزابيث. إليزابيث. نعم. وهي ما شاء الله عمرها كم شيخ حمزة؟ أربعة وثمانين. أربعة وثمانين ما شاء الله الله يديها الصحة والعافية إن شاء الله ويخليها ليكم يعني بإذن الله. Elizabeth, thanks for giving us the you know the opportunity to come and meet meet with you and and you know ask you a little bit about Sheikh Hamza and and his background. You have a beautiful place here. I mean, thank you. And and as they say, you know, we are a reflection of how we were brought up. If you can just tell us how was Sheikh Hamza as 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 a child. I mean, when he was young and growing up, how how was he? What interested him? What kind of interest he had? Well, specific things I remember. One, he was very curious, yeah. and he was always asking why. He always wanted to know why things were, and uh, he was never satisfied. Mm -hmm. When you answer one question, he had another, yeah. just one after the other. Okay. And he, he was a great talker. Mm -hmm. uh, he loved to talk and loved to ask questions, and... Um, uh, and he was had great adventures. He was an adventurer. When we would go out, um, Hamza somehow wandered away because he saw something to interest him. Mm -hmm. And uh, for instance, when we were at the fair, he disappeared, and the rest of the children and I went all over looking for him. Mm -hmm. When we finally found him, he was sitting in the in the uh, with the police officer eating an ice cream cone. So, um, and uh, you know, he would just be an adventurer and mm -hmm. take off. <laughs> we were always looking for him. And uh, one of the things that really stood out in my mind, I've never really gotten over, was when he was about 11 or 12. He was an avid reader, mm -hmm. and he told me that he had read War and Peace. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I assumed he'd read a, you know, a, a comic book story of War okay. and Peace, or <laughs> it's a long book. Um, so the movie came out, the Russian film, War and Peace, and I think it was three and a half hours, and there was an intermission in between. So I took him to see it, and during the intermission, he was discussing the difference between the book and the film. Wow. So I was convinced he'd read it. That was very impressed. <laughs> so, um, and the other thing I do remember is that he had such an incredible... Um, sense of, of balance. He was an, 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 just a tremendous athlete. It's sort of just natural. Mm -hmm. and he went skiing, he skied the highest slope as soon as he got on, as though he'd been skiing all of his life. Mm -hmm. And uh, he played football and baseball the same way. Whatever he, had, he uh, did, he just seemed to already know how to do it. So, uh, and and he's he's one of how many uh, seven so he's one mm -hmm. okay and, and his tertiba kum shah hamza kan he's he's the middle child he's the middle child <laughs> mashallah umma tanwasta mashallah tabarak allah and and was he any different than than you know the rest of his brothers or uh, my sisters um, come different and uh, the other thing he had the most wonderful smile when he smiled his face lit up it was like oh, it just the light just went on and it People love to watch him smile. It's just a, an incredible, um, just the lightening up of his whole countenance. Okay, yeah. And uh, did did he have any special interest in, in religion specifically, or in the Arabic language, did, or you know, in, uh, something has to do with the Middle East, or when he was growing up, or is not really? Well, I think he 
he, my son used to play our big music, and uh -huh. uh, um, he listened to that a lot. They used to listen to music together. Yes, and he did say that listening to the Arab music um, tuned his ear into the Arabic language. But uh, they listened for hours to. Yeah, and this was like way before you. When I was like probably about eight or nine, That's my right. older brother, because my older brother actually plays the oud, uh -huh. and he always loved Middle Eastern music. Yeah. yeah. It was Easter week, and it was also Passover, and so they had um, a weekend celebrating um, Passover, Easter, and and um, and Islam, mm -hmm. the weekend of Islam. Islam, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So uh, I asked if he wanted to go. Well, it was and actually he, Hajj, because oh, they showed us Hajj, a film on right. Hajj, so it was it the big Eid al Kabir. So um, he, we went for the weekend. Mm -hmm. It was... Uh, and uh, so we've actually prayed we in did. the mosque. We yeah. did wudu mm -hmm. and prayed. Yeah. I mean, my mom's idea. She exposed us to all the different religious faiths. And uh, even though we were, I mean, the church we went to, we went to Baptist church, we went to Unitarian church, mm -hmm. but we were baptized Greek Orthodox. But my mom was never um, sectarian. She did, she never liked. The idea of, of uh, well, what do you say? You think you kind of always. Oh. Well, I guess maybe it was organized religion. Yeah, <laughs> just the idea of having a fixed. So she. Yeah. Well, I, I grew up. I actually was baptized in a Greek Orthodox mm -hmm. church. And well, my mom um, grew up strict Catholic. But I grew up going to a Catholic school because there was there were was not a Greek school, and. Um, and I love Catholicism. I really, I loved it. Assalamu mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Kathleen. Hi. This is Kathleen my older Norway. sister. Hi, Kaswara. This How is Kaswara. How are He's you? from uh, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Pleased to meet so, you. So, do we want to get another chair? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, something I, uh, I thought was really interesting, my brother pointed out when we were in New York, because uh, Kaswara, Kaswara was with us protesting. When we were in New York, I called Troy, I was talking to him uh, during the demonstration, I told him, here I am demonstrating, you know, f against the uh, Republican convention. And he said, that's amazing, Mom and Kathleen, the two of you, were demonstrating against the Republican convention of 1964. Mm -hmm. So this is 2004, so that's 40 oh, years. And you were in San Francisco, and we were in uh, New York. So it was, I thought it was an amazing... Yeah, it. Well, what's interesting is the two of you are in the, the yearbook for the 1965 encyclopedia. There's a picture of my yeah. mother and my sister protesting with all black people. I mean, oh, they were the only two white people in the picture. <laughs> but you were looking a little black in the picture, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> my mother used to get mistaken for... Because she was very involved in the civil rights yeah. movement. Yeah, yeah, and she used to wear a scarf a lot and yeah. had her sunglasses. So people actually thought that you were half um, black or something like that. Isn't that true? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember that, but okay. possibly. <laughs> Mom can as well. She can as well, yeah. Okay. But I thought that was really interesting, that the is, two yeah. of them were there, and then 40 years later, we're in New York, because exactly. that was in San Francisco against yeah. Barry Goldwater, right. who was considered in those days an extremist, but he makes these people, I mean, these people make, make Barry Goldwater look pretty moderate. Yeah. Like a Democrat? Actually, almost. we were protesting the uh, civil rights platform of the, of of the, the Republican. Republican. Yeah, so it was one issue, uh -huh. because your poster actually mm -hmm. said civil rights is the mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. That was the poster that mm -hmm. you were yeah. holding up. Yeah, I mean, that was such an interesting time, wasn't it? It was. In this country. It was. Because it was formative, like you, you were at the University of Oregon mm -hmm. and then got involved with Martin Luther King. And you went down to uh, to Mississippi to Selma to Selma, mm -hmm. and worked in those coordinating committees and things. So it seems like a lot of things are coming back that we need that type of yeah. activism again in this country. It's true. Yeah, because I think part of what we've been talking to a lot of people in the Arab world, and this is primarily who's going to be listening to this in the Arab world. Um, 
a lot of Arab people just feel that, um, you know, the, the policies towards the Arab world are just so biased and unfair. And unfortunately with Iraq going on now and just a lot of the, and so there's a feeling that a lot of Americans just, they don't really care. I mean, that's their, uh, that's their feeling. It's so it is a general understanding. So I think part of what we're trying to do with this program is let them know not only are a lot of people deeply distressed about what's going on, they're not just sitting at Actually home being yeah. distressed, they're out marching, they're writing things, they're, I mean, they're doing things. Too. Well, unfortunately, our media doesn't show that. Right. There, seemed, there has been kind of a blackout about the uh, protest against the war. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, uh, you know, my mother during the Iraqi war, she would go to the demonstration. And so did Kathleen. And, Ka and you did Back as well. Yeah. So we were aware of how many people were there. Were there. It was large numbers. What the newspaper reported was never anything yeah. close. Mm -hmm. That's true. And it was a cross-section. Cross-section A lot of people. Of people conservative people, mm -hmm. liberal people, mm -hmm. Democrats, Republicans. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were Many people you would not expect to would be, be out there. there. Right. Which is very different from the 60s. Right. You didn't see as many conservative people out in the 60s as you do now. So that's a hopeful thing, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, I think something's interesting, Pia. I mean, I've noticed that even though there's still a lot of anger out there. I mean, we went, for instance, we went to the Unconventional Heroes um, program. And one of the people speaking got up and started talking about the dumb, fat, idiot uh, Rush Limbaugh. And I was just thinking about just using that type of language, mm -hmm. you know, dumb, fat. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not dumb. You might disagree with him, but, you know, he's, he's not a stupid person. Um, he might have some ideas that are pretty abhorrent to me or you. Mm -hmm. um, and fat is kind of a strange... I mean, for people that are trying to be progressive, to be attacking somebody because mm -hmm. of how they look is pretty... And, and people don't... That's where ethics kind of breaks down. We like ethics when it works for us, when it's on our side. But when we look at the other side, somehow the same principles are often just, they're just dropped. And, and so my feeling is that there are a lot of people out there that are becoming more aware mm -hmm. of, of that. that, that uh, I mean, that was one of the things you and I both felt about 9-11 um, Fahrenheit. You know, even though it was interesting and things like that, the, you know, the, uh, I mean, we're all in this thing together. Well, that wonderful, um, I can quote it, uh, quite trained from Rumi, um, beyond the right and wrong doing, there is a field, I'll meet you there. Right, yeah. Right, it's definitely time for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to have peace marches rather than anti-war marches. War marches, yeah, pro -peace. We need to... Uh, my own personal belief is that inner peace is the way we're going to have peace. What, what's what's the difference between sorry, a peace march versus an anti-war? I mean, well, an anti-war, from my perspective, is we're against you. Okay. Whoever the you is, okay. there's someone to be against. Someone who's the bad guy. Okay. And that's the very attitude that the people that we're looking at have toward. Whoever, I mean, we're upset with them and we're being the same way they are, okay. matching them. But if we're having a peace march, then ideally we would really be being peace at mm -hmm. that moment and okay. putting that out into the world. Okay. That we want peace for everyone, including the people that may be doing something that we wish they weren't doing.